Hey everybody, today is Friday, April 12th, 2024 in sunny San Diego, California, and I'm Captain Perry here with you. If you're new to the channel, beside me here is a scow bow mini cruiser that I'm building. Basically my mission here is to build a strong, trailerable, 14 foot sailboat that's watertight and custom built to cross oceans. Now today, deep in the shelving beneath my workbench here, I've pulled out a foil that I made a while back in the episode linked right over my head here. And this is gonna be the skeg. And in this episode, I'm gonna work on attaching that and maybe do some fairing to the hull. Who knows what else we'll get up to. And if you are new here, please do make sure you subscribe. I'm getting pretty close to my 10,000 subscriber goal that I've been working on for quite a while. So if you subscribe, you'll really help me out. All right, let's get to work. I've done some light hand sanding on the areas that were still a little glossy. And now I'm vacuuming it so I can put on some fairing compound. I'm really not gonna go to the level of detail that I see a lot of other bolt builds do on YouTube to get the bottom perfectly smooth. Uh, I do wanna fill some little low areas with the fairing compound and get a nice slippery smooth surface on the bottom for going through the water. But as far as looks, as long as it looks good from a boat length away, I'm happy. I've just placed the skeg on the aft end of the hull and it's gotta be about six centimeters forward of the transom because I'm gonna have a balanced rudder to make it easier to steer. So the rudder has about five centimeters forward of the pintles. So this is about six centimeters forward. And I can already see I've got some shaping to do. I gotta cut away some in the middle because there's gap there, if you can see. So unfortunately I have some shaping to do. When I built this, I didn't have access to the bottom of the boat yet. So I just need to increase the curve a little bit, cut this section out. I'm very happy with how strong it is though. It's a heavy sucker and it's got five millimeter G10 panel in here. Very strong. There we go, now it's hugging the hull much more closely. No more gap. So next I've gotta clean up the area with acetone, a well vacuum and then acetone, and then prep all the fiberglass. And we can attach this. I'm thinking three layers of 10 ounce cloth. I've added some unthickened epoxy to the bottom of the hull. And now I'm gonna add some onto here as well. Just really want to make sure that the thickened epoxy I add later sticks.
All right, the fillet's done. I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm gonna come back in about two hours and put on the three layers of 10 ounce cloth. Okay, and there we go. Peel plies on. Good night, everybody. All right, well, it's the next morning now. Let's remove some peel ply and see how it looks. All right, here she is with the peel ply off. I'll give you an up close look. I'm really happy with that. It just needs a little light sanding in some areas, but otherwise the peel ply took care of it and it'll be ready for fairing here in a minute, along with the rest of the hull. I know on a lot of boat builds on YouTube, you see them cover the entire hull with fairing, but I don't think it's really necessary here. I mean, the peel ply leaves a surface that's ready for paint, and this looks quite nice and smooth. There's just some areas where like the peel ply didn't adhere totally, and I had to sand a bit, or you know, they're kind of low spots. I'm gonna do some fairing. It's not like this boat is gonna be raced. It's, it's more like the VW camper of the seas. I've wiped down the hull now with some acetone, so it's all dust free, ready for some fairing compound. I'm gonna use this uh, Total Boat, Total Fair, which is pretty good stuff. And uh, they're not a sponsor, but a viewer was kind enough to send me some off of Amazon Wishlist. And if you wanna go on Amazon Wishlist, you can help out the channel a lot by buying some stuff. There's some uh, carbon fiber on there that would be great to have to help build the buoyancy arch and the doghouse. It'd be nice to use some uh, lightweight, really strong material for that. All right, there we go. The beauty of a small sailboat. All my fairing is done, at least on the bottom. Wasn't too much to do. Let's see. Back here. And now I've got some sanding to do. Also, sailboat. 
That's it for this little ocean-going VW camper, for today anyway. I'm going to give her a quick sanding, and then next time it's painting time. It won't be a perfectly fared hull, but there's a Churchill quote I like that goes, Perfection is the enemy of progress. I'd much rather progress to a finished sailboat this summer or fall than a perfect boat in another year or two. It's funny because I still remember one of my very first negative comments on my first video where I was cleaning out my garage, preparing to start my build. A guy wrote something like, I see a garage full of responsibilities. This guy will never build this boat. Well, I hope that viewer is still watching because I see a boat that you could drop in the water right now and row it around if you wanted to. As much as I dislike negative comments, I have to admit that one stuck in my head and is one I've enjoyed proving wrong. I thank everyone who has supported the project, and I promise I will put all the gear and money sent my way to good use getting this boat out on the water as soon as I can. If you'd like to help out by sending some supplies for the boat, there's an Amazon wish list link in the description. Other ways to support the project are through PayPal or Patreon. Patreon members get to watch videos a day in advance and gain access to extras like my full build notebook with all my notes and building steps, etc. I even had someone send some Bitcoin for the first time the other day. That was pretty cool. But anyway, if you're one of the rare people who is actually still watching this far, let's mess with everyone else and please leave a comment letting me know that you spotted a rat in the background somewhere. All right, guys, see you next time. One hour to make all preparations. We're getting on the way. Hey, uh, what's that? Home. Get back to your station, or I'll have you shot from his ear. Well, shoot, suck!